On the front page of yesterday's Boston Globe, which, Senator, you probably think of as the New Hampshire Globe these days, but the Boston Globe had a front page story by Matt Visor that said, GOP hopefuls not embracing climate change, skepticism could prove costly in general election. Is that a problem for the party? Well, as policymakers, our job is to no doubt have policies that are good for our natural environment, but we also have to have policies that are good for our economy. Here's the bottom line. A lot of what these people are advocating for would, destroy, would hurt our economy badly. For example, tomorrow there will be a new carbon rule issued by the EPA. And here's the practical impact of the, that, that new carbon rule. It will make utilities, it will make the cost of electricity higher for millions of Americans. So if there is some billionaire somewhere who is a pro-environmental cap and trade person, yeah, they can probably afford for their electric bill to go up a couple hundred dollars. But if you're a single mom in Tampa, Florida, and your electric bill goes up by $30 a month, that is catastrophic. And that's what these policies will do. And they will do nothing to address the underlying issue that they're talking about. Because as, long, as far as I can see, China and India and other developing countries are going to continue to burn anything they can get their hands on. And so the bottom line is, as a policymaker, we must balance our interest for the e ecology, which is legitimate, with our interest for the economy. And the bottom line is that American energy will allow millions of people to improve their standard of living just the way it's eradicated poverty for millions of people around the world.